And earlier tonight, a light heavyweight contest over six three-minute rounds, an international matchup. It is Toga Latoa and the Blommer, Blake Caparello. It is Toga in the white and blue, Caparello in the black and gold. Chris McCullen, two lefties, two southpaws. Yeah, uh, you know, we've been seeing a fair bit of this lately, and uh, it won't be anything strange to Blake Caparello in his last fight here, coming off a, a good victory over Michael Bolling, also a left-handed fighter, so I'm sure he's going to have similar tactics tonight. Certainly was highly impressive in that victory over the Sydney side of Bolling. It was Caparello. Big, tall, strong-looking young man in the light heavyweight division. Isn't he? He's a big heavyweight, and uh, that night he super impressed me. I thought he uh, he, he boxed a great night, a uh, great fight, sorry. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing more of Blake Caparello. Latoa's got that one-punch power. Six KOs in 11 victories. Walked into one there from Caparello. Who does have the power, but is I think probably more considered an accumulator of punches, Blake Caparello. At this yeah, point he, in his career, anyway. Yeah, I agree, Andy, 100%. You can see the way he turns that left hand over. He, he gets that, you know, all his body weight behind it. He's got good knuckle on the punch and a real good snap of the jab. Yeah, a definitely. Real good snap. And with the two lefties, this is when we need to see that front hand coming in more. You, you know, obviously. Uh, the basic term when you're fighting the southpaw for the orthodox is right hand, left hook, you know, power hand, yep. left hook. But the uh, southpaw, southpaw, you use that front hand a lot more now. That'll get you into distance and that'll allow that left hand to land. Latoa heavy hands, that's why Caparello is very much on the bike circle at the ring doing, you know, anti-clockwise direction. Oh, nice shot. The body. That was a beauty from Caparello. Very smart work from Caparello as he goes there again and comes up with the right hook on top of it. Yeah, nice changing of levels for the man they call the bomber. Lives here in Essendon in Victoria. Oh, Ooh, you're on the back of the head there. One. Yeah. Two. Count as a block. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Understand it? Hit the back of your head. Oops. Hit the head, the hands, both of them, the gloves, hit the canvas. Oh, a beautiful left hand, and Caparello's hurt Latoa. That was a cracking shot. Caparello with 20 seconds remaining in the round has got to do a lot to steal it. He certainly wasn't hurt, Caparello, but it spurred him on. Oh, he's out! He's not getting up. It is over. Round one. A massive look out out. from Caparello. What a shot from Blake Caparello, who had been counted only 60 seconds prior. Some heavy hands. The young two men in centre ring at line heavyweight. And let's see how it went down. Boom! Oh! What about the little short, sharp right hook? If you watch the body weight on Blake Caparello, he brings it from one side all the way across to the other side, and hence that's why the power was like it was. And the power, it started from the toes all the way through to the gloves, and that young man, Blake Caparello, is now nine fights, eight wins, four knockouts.